Good morning everyone, welcome back to Andre Craft Show. Today, I'm going to share with you how I assemble these beautiful roses. Before I will proceed, I am sorry for taking so long to make this video as I have been very busy making the other projects that I already have. So, anyway, without further ado, let's start. So these are the materials that I'm going to use, a fabric glue, a glue gun, of course a needle and I will be using the same yarn color as my petals, a wire for the steam and those petals make it ready, the sepals and the leaves and the extra yarn to wrap the wire. So bear with me, it's a little bit tricky assembling the part and especially the sewing part. So let's start. Just this part, I'm using a glue gun just to make sure my wire and the petals are attached together. Once you secure the first petal, set aside your glue gun and start attaching the second petals by sewing it. Focus on how I insert my needle. First, I will insert it here and secure it so it doesn't move while I'm sewing the part. As you can see, maybe you asked why I need to insert my needle in this part, just so it's not visible from outside. Basically, I'm trying to do a invisible stitch while attaching each part. Now, if you are making a 3D roses, it means you are using multiple colors. Just make sure that you are using the same yarn while sewing each petals. This way of assembling the petals can be applied for those who make big roses. But if you are making a small roses, you can use the glue gun itself. I prefer using this way of assembling the parts so i can adjust and if i want to redo the project i can still do it so whereas the difference of using the glue gun once you glued them it will it will be a problem once you find mistakes while attaching each part so i hope you get what i mean
those who haven't seen the full video tutorial for the sepals, the petals, and the leaves, please check the description box below. Everything is there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and I hope you don't skip the ads. In that way, I can support myself and buy more yarn and make more videos. Thank you for those who subscribe and support my channel and those who shared my video. In this part, I'm just going to sew it here and uh, secure it. Now is the part to attach the sepals. So grab your sepals and make sure you cover all those extra yarn from the petals. So this is the job of the sepals to cover all those extra yarn from the petals. So make sure you make a wider or bigger sepal. So, so it means if you are making a big project or a bigger roses, the rest of the part should be adjusted. So in this part, I will do the same when I started. Insert first your needle in this part and secure the yarn. Again, so it doesn't move while you're sewing the part. Watch how I sew this part.
if you notice i don't make a music background as much as possible youtube took down my previous videos that has a music background so i'm trying to get rid of that so i hope you are fine with the silence So I hope you get the idea of how to assemble the parts of the roses. It's up to you on how to do it in the easiest way. There are so many ways actually, but uh, this is how I do mine. Now I'm done with the sepals, I will proceed to attaching the leaves, so grab your leaves. This part is so easy, I think everyone knows how to do this. Just wrap the entire wire and while wrapping, attach the leaves.
I'm fine with three leaves, so you can add more if you want. In this part, I will be using a fabric glue to secure the last yarn. Ta -da! that's pretty much it i hope this video finds helpful and i hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and feel free to share this with your friends and families so that's it god bless us all bye